Hey Clashers, so many of you have told me I have to try this droid and super witch strategy. It's just insanely strong. And when I first heard about it, I thought, okay, well, that's just pretty much, well, the worst version than the super witches. And it's for all of those players who do not want to spend 25,000 dark elixir on the super witches. But to be honest, testing it a little bit, I have to say I am wrong. Electro Titans with the Druids are just synergizing so well. They can take down the Clan Castle super easily. And Titans do not need spells like Super Witches, which means we can go with Lightnings into this as well. The equipments are the same as for the... Um, Super Witches. The Electro Boots though gets way more important. You can combine this though with the Gauntlet or with the Spiky Ball. Both works. With the Queen, equipment saying the same as well. With the Warden, the same story. You need the Fireball yet again because this is giving you the quick funnel. And this is where the synergy with the Droids is just so, so good. And with the Royal Champ, I'm still going with the Hot Rider Puppet and the Haste Fire when I'm playing those ground strategies. I think still it's amazing. You can work your way nicely around the Titans and do a lot of damage. So I think let's just do a couple of attacks and see how strong it actually is. But um, yeah, it is it is it's kind of crazy. Okay, were my viewers right with their, well, prediction that this strategy is just so insane. We are going versus a triple singer for a tower. That's quite annoying, not gonna lie. That is actually really annoying. How do we do with, like, how do we deal with this? We could go lightning wise. Hmm. What could we go for? Monolith and scatter, but that's not creating any pathing. That's like the downside of this. Um... I would assume we're going with the same fireball, which I usually do with my super witches. So like this. One of the earthquakes, the other earthquake is for the lightnings. And then the titans jump into the core. Have the queen funneling. And yeah, let's have some fun, I guess. So like titans here. Queen here. Wall break. Oh, why are there tests? I am confused. Is this like a fireball spot or something? I am just really confused. As well because this is like the biggest weakness for this strategy. It's walls. That's pretty much it. Like walls are the biggest, biggest problem for them. Um, that's why we're trying to oh, have those jumps. Let's just turn this invisible. Let's do this wall break right here. Queen. And then a few more of those. We can race. When there's a lot of damage, that's why you want to race those droids. And I think we're going for the lightning over here, to be honest. To take this back end out. King ability can be used right now to open up everything as well for my queen. And then we should be totally fine because those droids cannot die. I mean, they're just unkillable, especially with those, with those, like, the titans, droid combination. I'm not even sure it might be, like, it's just insane. It's just really insane. Let's use the royal champ ability. I always forget about using the headhunters. To be honest, if you're like me, replace the headhunters with either more wall breaks or you could use Valkyries for the support for the queen. To be honest, I think that's what I'm going to do for the second attack. Like, I never use my headhunters. Never. Never ever. I always for cleanup, okay? It's freaking me out. So I will put the link down below in the description with the strategy with the headhunters. Because in theory, you should bring headhunters. But if you are as bad as I am with actually using them... Then you should use probably something different. So I will just try to maybe get some Valkyries in there or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this does not work whatsoever when it comes to the Headhunters. The strategy itself, you, you saw it. Looks great. Looks amazing, to be honest. Let's just do more attacks. Okay, we have our next base. And this time, as I said, I replaced the Headhunters. Maybe you only want to replace one. That works as well. So if you're going to the Baron King or something, you have the early Headhunter. But two Headhunters for me, I don't know. Like... Yeah, not, not really worth it, okay? So let's just think about what we can do on this base right here. I think we could go with the warden on the far left side, then turn this invisible fireball this. I think that should work. If it's not baited, that would be the only downside. Let's just test. No Tesla. Oh, okay, never mind. There are Tesla. Um, so how do we do this now then? I'm still placing my warden in there. I don't care. Um, we have only one invisibility. How do we do this? Hmm, if I could get that second test out of the way. Wait, can we actually do that? Come on, come on, baby dragon. You got this, you got this, you got... Yes! MVP. And that invisible. Fireball. Let's go, we still did. Okay, never mind, was a bit too slow, but it, it's fine, it's fine. Now the wall break right here. Queen down here. 
Another wall break. Oh, that wall break goes really far to the left. That was not supposed... That wall break goes really far to the right. Yeah, there's no in between, I guess. Uh, let's use the lock launcher, I assume. Um, raise this up. And we can use the lightning on this part of the base. Let's just do that. I'm always using them quite light because I'm always unsure where to use them. But hey, it's fine. King is around the outside, which is not the worst part. It's fine, it's fine. Lock launcher is opening up the core. As I said, the worst nightmare for this strategy is... Waltz. The, it sounds weird in the current time of Tunnel 16 where it feels like waltz are useless. But trust me, like, that's the biggest weakness for those Electro Titans. And you need to somehow overtake that. If you're doing that, you're completely fine. Let's add the Royal Gem here for the defending queen because it's like that she's quite annoying. Let's use that king ability so we can reach that scatter as well. And we're slowly making our way towards the town hall. Those droids keeping those um, titans alive for quite some time. The town hall should go down really soon as well. We can restart the cleanup. And that is going to be, or that should be at least, that nice three star for us with the royal champion. Hopefully getting into that middle part soon. Yep, there we go. Let's use that ability right there. The Queen and King can cycle around the outside. And yeah, I really have to say. I really have to say. I feel like... First off, I just thought, okay, it's going to be a weaker version of the Super Witches. Because, well... It's just to make sure that people are spending less Dark Elixir. Because it's... 25,000 less Dark Elixir if you're talking about in comparison to the Super Witches. But I really have to say... Oh boy, this is strong. Let's do one more attack though. And we do it three times in a row. And where do we want to fireball this? Oh, I mean, this can't be even beta, right? If I take down the mortar, we fireball this. No, no, this looks insane. Let's just do it. Let's do it quickly so the Royal Champ is not running away. Come on, come on. Take down that mortar. Go, go, go. Fireball. One droid to keep the warden in life. Perfect. Let's go. Nice. Now the Titans in here. Working there around the chop side. Let's do this, this. We have the Queen here. The lock launcher and just just right now I think that's fine. And as I said, the biggest nightmare for this strategy are walls. So that's why we're going to handle that nice and early. We have some bakeries to take down the Tesla. So the lock launcher is staying alive a little bit longer. Queen already struggling with her hit points. Was the giant cannon on her? I'm not really sure. But what do we take down with the lightnings? I feel like this back end looks really scary, so that's what, what I'm going to take down. Just like that. Maybe now the raids for the droids. Let's just re add the remaining droids. Okay, I'm not really patient here. But that is okay. We can add the Roy gem on the far left side. Oh, there's another tester, but that's... Yet again, okay for us. The queen has survived to take down another expo. The king ability is still there. We still have the jump for the back end. I think things look quite alright. Actually, really, really solid alright. Um, should we use the jump? No, we have to use the king ability anyway. So let's just do it right now. So he's not losing any more hit points. We can use the jump on the back end. The queen, unfortunately, <gasps> is um, not dying. That's what I tried to say. And then we're going to use the jump for the last one. And this is just a crazy overkill. Those, like anything which you combine with the druids, if it's like a tanky troop, you can combine them with super witches. That's the most obvious one, right? With super bolus when you have the life gem on them. With the electro titans, which have a lot of hit points. So... All of those troops are just so, so broken with the druids because the druids are just right now the most busted troops in the entire Clash of Clans. Like, it's not even close. It's crazy. They're on the same level as root riders when they were introduced, which is crazy to think about, to be honest. But yeah, if you want to play this strategy, I think it's equally strong as the Super Witches, if I'm completely honest. I was not expecting this power. The back end is quite nice with the lightning, so it gives you some more flexibility as well. Obviously, you have less spells, but Titans don't need spells. That's a cool thing. Rages do not affect the aura of them, and that's making them quite strong. So, if you want to give it a try, the link is down below in the description. Hope you have quite nice success with that. Thank you so much, and I wish you guys back tomorrow with the next one. Until then, see ya, and bye-bye.